when you are Mr. Nobody, you have no past. Understand this principle. Now from this relational I, now we go to the second I. The second I is the load of our past that we carry on our head. See? All those who are miserable, they are all the time carrying the load of the past. जाने कहाँ गए वो दिन बाढ़ में you also go see the load that we carry of our past is so terrible that we are unable to stay in the present that is the reason why youngsters do not like to be in the company of the old people when anything is happening the oldie immediately opens his old folder. Jabham Jawan te, when we were, you know, in Jamnagar. What a place to be, Jamnagar. There's only jam everywhere. See? So all the time living in the past, when we start living in the past, we dishonor the present. Dishonoring the present is imprisonment in our past. See, friends. So try this. This experiment I tried. This happened when I was traveling from Bombay to Delhi by train many years before. That time I was young and handsome. Definitely. <laughs> But it's not a history, it is the truth now also. <laughs> <laughs> so, when I was traveling, uh, one gentleman came and sat in front of me in the train. And when they see us, then they want to time pass, ask question, and, and just keep this Babaji switch on, and then they enjoy pan. <laughs> So I knew their technique. So I thought the best way is to keep my mouth shut. So I took out my mala from my pocket and I told, I am doing Jaffa, so I will not talk. You please tell something about you. This is the best service you can do to any old man. Listen to them. At least pretend that you are listening. <laughs> See? Then they are very happy. See, our Bahu, she is so nice, you know. She comes and uh, listens to me. So he started. When I was there, this happened, you know, my grandfather was like that. That means I had to listen three generations. So grandfather gone, then father, then this happened, then India partition, then India, Pakistan, we came to um, USA. In India, you came to USA? Yes, Ullas Nagar Sindhi Association. <laughs> And there we had a business, and this happened, that happened, and then we were, I was married, and children, and grandchildren. Now, who is interested in that? But because you are the hero of your life, you are inspired. And to keep that fellow inspired in between, hmm? then again he gets inspired. <laughs> These are the techniques to keep somebody talking and listen. listen. You don't have to listen. Suddenly, in between, Achha? <laughs> One Gujarati boy, he used to address me always by name. He used to uh, tell me, Anuhananda, you don't listen uh, and see the cartoons. I have never seen you. I said, no, I see cartoons. But you never sit before the TV. I said, I see the live cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> All around you. And then it so happened and then I came and then my son told me, your health is not good in Bombay because it is humid climate. You go to Delhi, it is a dry climate. And therefore he put me in the train and I saw you. And then what happened? Then nothing. You come in the present and you stop talking. Friends, real mauna. Real silence is when you stop talking to yourself. Our silence is we don't talk to others. Then we keep a paper and a pen. 
चाय बनाओ ना इन वन गुजराती हाउस आई सॉ दैट नो ओल्ड मैन ही वॉज ऑब्जर्विंग मौनम चातुर्मास मौनम एंड देन ही वॉन्टेड समथिंग टो ही टोल्ड इज डॉटर इन लॉ डॉटर इन लॉ वॉज फ्रॉम साउथ इंडिया एंड यू नो ही वॉज अ गुजराती सो ही वॉन्टेड टी और कॉफी समझिंग नथिंग शी सेड आई एम नॉट एबल टू रीड इट प्लीज टेल वॉट इट इज मैंने गुजराती नहीं आ Is this Mauna? It is a cartoon of Mauna. The real Mauna is when you stop talking to yourself. Friends, we talk to ourselves only when we are somebody. See, friends, observe this phenomena in your own life. then slowly we come to a point when we start remaining aware that let me remain as nobody nobody all the time to remain nobody all the time one of the simplest spiritual practices never talk about your past and never ask anybody about their past we are all the time talking about our past and you know the most funny part nobody is interested in our past everybody is concerned about their own future but we oldies have nothing but the past old people have no future <laughs> and young people have no past when these two uh diagonally opposite characters come together there cannot be a meaningful dialogue see friends therefore the first i which becomes miserable is this relational i and the second i which becomes miserable is the ego what we call and what is the ego ego is summation of our total past experiences which we have stored in our hard disk as memories hey friends delete your all memories there is no need remain in the present how to do that it's very simple learn from every experience wisdom does not have an impression but the experience good or bad it has an impression on the mind so when we live our life in this world in such a manner that our mind stops reacting to the world consciously see then you will stop reacting and then life is a fun one example i'll give you this happened in one place in india it is a five story multiplex uh, satsang bhavan you know you must have seen multiplex cinema halls in india we have got multiplex in bombay satsang bhavan there are five stories and five different mahatmas are talking on five different topics and nobody listens to anything it's such a fun <laughs> so my lecture were on the uh, fifth floor probably and we first day over second day when i went the watchman in charge told me swami ji your lecture is on the ground floor i said okay so i was going to ground floor the trustee came and the trustee said how can you go on the ground floor i said by walking no 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 your lecture is on the fifth floor i said your watchman told